Hey guys, welcome back to another one of my YouTube videos. Today, obviously, we're going to take a look at the Alkin compressor. This is video number two on the Alkin. This video is about fill times. And I'm gonna tell you guys, I'm in my PJs, I'm in my comfortable t-shirt. I have an after, some would say after five, after seven, or after nine, I have an after midnight. Uh, this is, this is wild, but really don't care. It's cold outside, <laughs> weather's bad, we got COVID, I could care less. So you guys are getting a chance to see me in the raw. That might come out wrong, it doesn't sound right. But anyway, I look like this because what I'm going to do in the video is I have emptied all the tanks, all of these tanks. I have two 45 minute and two 60 minute and a 30 minute. Do you guys have any idea what I go through to put, do these videos for you guys? Not only do I pay for all of this out of my own pocket, and I'm not sponsored, I go through a lot to show you guys how things work, how well they perform, and things of that nature. Do you have any idea how long it takes to drain two 45-minute tanks, two 60-minute tanks, and a 30-minute tank that will full? All right, guys, we're back and I'm still comfortable. Um, the point of this video, again, is to show you guys how quick this compressor can fill various tanks. The reason why it is of concern is because people, a lot of times you're, you're, shoot, you're outdoor shooting, you might be at a big shooting event and you have something like this, where you have a 220 source or you have a uh, a gas compressor that's just like this that flows the same amount of air. Uh, this is 3.7 cubic foot a minute. This gives you an idea of if you are in such a situation or you need to go on a hunt and your friend's meeting you at your house and he says, hey dude, I'll be there at five o'clock in the morning, six o'clock, seven o'clock, whatever, but my tanks are empty. I don't have, this gives you an idea of how long it takes to fill a 30 minute tank, a 45 minute tank, or even a 60 minute tank from empty. These are all 4,500 PSI tanks and they all will be filled to 4,500 PSI. So that is the point of the video. It's all about fill times. I'm not gonna go over certain things about the compressor. I kind of covered a lot of it in the first video. At the six month, when I do a, the third video, which will not be until six months, I will tell you guys all the features that this thing has, and it has a lot. Second and third stage intercoolers and aftercoolers, so you don't need water. I mean, first stage uh, pressure gauge, second stage pressure gauge, here's the first stage. Awesome, awesome features. But we're not here for the features. While I'm comfortable wearing my comfortable clothes, my PJs, let's go ahead and look at fill time. So what I'm gonna do, is I'm gonna start with, it doesn't matter, but I'm gonna go smallest to biggest. So I'm gonna start with the 130 minute that I have. It is dead empty. I've already showed you guys that all the gauges are reading empty. We're gonna hook this thing up. I'm gonna have a picture in picture of my phone and you're gonna see, I'm not gonna, I mean, obviously guys, if it takes 15, let's just say 15, 18 minutes and 22 minutes, that'd be an hour or more of me just sitting here showing you guys picture in picture. So I'm just gonna show you starting it and then I'm gonna show you how long it took to each one. Now, the way you'll know when the tanks are full, what I like about this and it takes some getting used to is this is basically a check valve. When the fill pressure in that tank gets to 4,500 PSI, this will just open and it almost sounds like a burst disc, but it's not that bad. It's 
a quarter as bad. So if you're not paying attention, you're kind of doing something on the phone and you might hear and then it just does it really loud. It scares you. You have to get you you have to get used to it. It's designed that way to grab your attention if you're not paying attention. Say, hey, I'm full. The cool thing about it is this check valve or and pressure relief valve is what keeps your tanks from being overfilled. So when this thing at the factory is set to 4,500 PSI, um, this will release at 4,500 PSI. So you can be upstairs having a beer and this thing will be running. No, I do not recommend that, but what I'm saying is that's why this is designed like this. If you forget that this is filling a tank, this will go off and it'll never let more than 4,500 PSI in that tank. So that's the way this pressure relief slash check valve works. All right, guys, enough talk. Let's get to filling these things up. Um, before we do that, I do want to give a quick little shout out to my boy, Doug Noble. Doug Noble um, is the guy who uh, gave me a really great deal. He's selling these compressors. I probably already put a link up in the beginning. I'm going to throw another link to his email. You can email him if you're interested in buying one. I tell you guys what, take it from somebody who came from cheap compressors to an expensive compressor. I bought this compressor with my own money. Doug didn't let me borrow this for video purposes. I'm not returning it to him to in a year. Nothing like that. This is mine. I own this. I can engrave my name in here. I can put graffiti. I can spray paint this thing. It's mine. Email Doug if you guys are interested in one of these. I highly recommend it. It's, it's badass. All right, guys. Enough talk. Let's get to filling. All right, guys. First tank is going to be the uh, MSA 30-minute tank. Um... We're at zero, I have the stopwatch set at zero. So when I turn this on, we're gonna count everything from no pressure being in the unit and no pressure in here to full on, it's done. The good thing about doing all this testing is that the fact that I'm really, really comfortable, that's the important part, guys. That's why I have these PJs on. And you know, a t-shirt, that's why I'm, it's good to be comfortable. Ah, let me, uh. Yeah, let's just come over here and uh, let's get started here so I can, uh, uh, you know, I can, uh, I can start this. You guys ready? Okay, you see we're here. You see we're right here at zero. Let's go ahead and get started here uh, and go. Tank number two. This one basically used a lot of force in about 22 minutes, seven seconds. That's a lot of force. 22 minutes, seven seconds for a 45, 
minute tank from zero to 4,500 PSI. It's pretty good. Okay guys, we've already seen the uh, 30 minute, we've seen the 45 minute, and now we're going to do the 60 minute. We have one 60 minute and one 45 minute tank left. And I think what I'm going to do, whew, this thing wants to hang up on me. I think what I'm going to do while I uh, run this compressor is have me a drink and go listen to, you know, a couple great air gun guys talk about the history of air guns, hunting, long range shooting, you know, FX products, Utah air guns, you know, various things like that. Probably on the radio or maybe the internet. Yeah, listen to a couple of my local buddies that I support. <clears throat> um, talk about air guns, man, the passion and the sport and how they got involved. guys that took roughly about 29 minutes and I'm glad that it did I had a lot of time to listen to a lot of great um, interviews with long-range shooters and uh, guys that are tuned and adjust FX air guns guys that cast bullets a lot of uh, good information a lot of good information great 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 channel great show really good show thank God that one took almost 30 minutes a lot of time to listen, a lot of opinions, a lot of guys are doing a lot of incredible things out there. All right guys, got one more tank to fill up and I'm kind of glad I'm actually doing this, man. It gives me time to check out a lot of great videos on uh, YouTube. A lot of great guys out there, man, in the powder burner and the air gun world. A lot of great guys. So we got one more 60 minute tank to fill up and then we'll be done and we'll come back and have a talk. All right guys, here we go. The end of the video, we have now filled up one, two, three, four, five tanks. One 30 minute, two 45 minutes, and two uh, 60 minutes. I'll put the total time up right across here and let it hang here for a minute. That's how long it took to fill all five of those tanks back to back to back to back to back. This basically was a torture test. I didn't let the unit really cool down. I just kind of ran it like maybe five minutes at most just because I was setting the camera and lights and all that stuff up. Um, but the unit was still hot. I mean, I could feel the radiation uh, from here. The unit did extremely well. I mean, I think with any compressor, whether it be Alkin, Bauer, Airtex, Young Hing, Aventuri, I think the more you run the compressor back to back to back to back and the hotter it gets, the slower the fill times become. But still, I think the slowest tank was 29 minutes for a 60 minute tank, almost 30 minutes. That's actually really good, man. From empty guys, this is from Z zero to 4,500 PSI. I had a bucket of cold water. Since it's cold outside, I just filled the bucket halfway up and stuck each tank in there so it would get a full 4,500 PSI uh, fill. Somebody on my channel asked me a question about, well, don't the tanks get hot? And then Justin, Justin Jacobson, <coughs> God, excuse me, I just, <clears throat> it's like the t-shirt, you know, it's, it's so comfortable, but yeah, it just kind of reminded me. So Justin Jacobson 
responded to a guy basically telling him, you can always put uh, the tank in a bucket full of water and let it stay cool while the compressor's filling the tank. Yes, the tanks do get warm. Um, they will lose two, maybe 300 PSI, especially if it's like summertime. You can always top the tank back off. But if you start with a five gallon water bucket, with cold water in it, the tank pretty much will stay cool. It'll get a, a full 500, uh, 4,500 PSI fill. So that is one issue. And the reason why the tank gets hot is because this compressor fills so fast. If you look at my first video and you look at some of the times that uh, the, the compressor was filling some of the tanks, it's pretty quick, man. I mean, I think here it was like what? four or five minutes for a thousand PSI, like from zero, like four or five minutes, dude, that's nothing. That, that's literally nothing. I would much rather have this compressor than any compressor I've ever had. And I can't say that enough. This thing did not miss a freaking beat. So again, I'll put that total time up for five tanks from zero to full. Um, I'm going to end it right there, guys. I want to say thank you for all my viewers. Um, I'm a slowly approaching 10,000 viewers. I've been doing this for since 2006, guys, and I'm just now getting to 10,000 viewers. Not there yet, but I'm getting close. Um, I know a lot of people, I've heard this for years, say, man, you should have more subscribers. You know, I can't control people. I can't. And the world can't control people. People do what they want. People choose who they want. They choose who they want for whatever reason they, they make the choice. So I'm grateful just to have as many people watching my videos as if I had a million. And I mean that because YouTube is something I started just as a way to show what I'm doing with air guns because I couldn't believe air guns could do what they could do way back in the early or the late 90s, early 2000, late 90s, I was shooting over 100 yards back then. And people, people, nobody believed me. So the people that are stuck with me, the new, the new subscribers that are with me today, I just want to tell everybody, thank you, man. I really do appreciate you guys. And I'm trying to come up with a decent idea for a 10,000 subscriber giveaway. Um, I wish I could give away something like this because, man, if, if you got if any one of you guys had a compressor like this, you would understand how great it is. So I want to thank my boy Doug Noble for hooking me up with this, for telling me about this years ago. I've been knowing about this compressor for two, three years now. So I want to thank him for keeping my eye and my attention focused on this compressor. I don't think I could have made a better choice. Just my opinion. I love this thing. I hope you give me years of uh, life and, 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 and just service. So thank you guys. See you guys on the next video. I hope you enjoyed this one. I look to you know, bring something new and exciting uh, to the next video. You know, maybe I'll have a new, <clears throat> a new, a new t-shirt or a new <laughs> hoodie predator hoodie yeah um something to show on the next video because i don't have one <laughs> see you guys on the next one